This is Soldier 76 reporting for duty. Fred Tattershaw provides the iconic voice of Soldier 76 in Overwatch. Old soldiers never die, and they don't fade away. But it's quite possible you've heard him before in one of his many other roles, but maybe you're not quite sure where. As well as voicing the ex-Overwatch leader, Fred is an incredibly accomplished voice actor who's played characters in everything from Family Guy to Gears of War, as well as numerous roles for DC and Marvel animated TV shows, as well as Star Wars and Mass Effect. So let's find out where you can find some of his other work. Somewhere you might recognise his voice from is Family Guy, as Fred has voiced many characters on the show, including John Goodman, Thomas Edison and the Cookie Monster. Horses that make it look like I can walk? Take me to Hollywood! Uh, what's that? What's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and- A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that! Me! I'm Thomas Edison! I invented the light bulb! Yum 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 yum! Fred has played many characters in World of Warcraft, but in particular, his deep and powerful voice has lent itself well to voicing some of the game's most menacing raid bosses. None shall pass. Another of Fred's most recognizable performances in a video game was as the gear soldier Damon Baird in the Gears of War series. Just give me 10 minutes to go back there and make sure the bastard's dead. Of course, one of the most likely places you'll recognize Fred's voice from is his numerous performances as the Hulk in Marvel TV shows and games. Hulk is strongest than is. This is probably his most famous role in the shows, but he's also played other characters like Beast and The Thing. Full House. Not to be outdone, however, he's also voiced many characters for DC, including Killer Croc and Deathstroke. Now that leg doesn't look good, though I hate to see any poor animals suffer. You aren't on the lights hit list. So how about a little anesthetic for the pain? And then in Injustice 2, he voices Bane and Swamp Thing. Come to me, Bane. I know your game is poor. I scare a man like you. In Destiny, he played the mysterious agent of the Nine, Zer. For organic life to persist, it requires constant adaptation. In the puppet movie from the creators of South Park, Team America World Police, he voiced the character of Samuel Jackson. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me! Throughout the StarCraft series and then again in Heroes of the Storm, he's been the voice of the mystic Protoss, Zeratul. The prophecy is uncertain. There is always hope. In Titanfall 2, he worked alongside the voice of McCree, Matthew Mercer. While Mercer provided the voice of the player character Jack Cooper, it's Fred's character Ty who's your mentor and the previous pilot for the Mech BT. BT, transfer authorization to new pilot, Link, Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango, 7274. Cooper. Take my Titan. Use my helmet and my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. Another one of Fred's most recognizable roles was as the elite Spectre's operative, Saren, in Mass Effect. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. One of his most memorable roles was in the Call of Duty games, where he voices a few different characters in various titles, but his most iconic and memorable role has to be that of Nikolai. It is said that it is better to have loved than lost, than never to have loved at all. I feel differently. Over the years, he's performed many different roles for family-friendly TV shows, such as playing Buff Frog in Star vs. The Forces of Evil. This guy has own confit. In the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV series that started in 2013, he plays the Russian arms dealer turned mutant rhino Rocksteady. Don't feel so well. Oh, yet. Look at me. 
They've turned us into freaks! And then in the recently released Power Rangers movie, he provided the voices for Goldar and the Putties. Another of his roles where he was able to bring life to a character who had very few lines of actual dialogue was as 8 in the movie 9. In the hack and slash fighting game For Honor, he plays the Viking warlord Stagander. Stagander. What took you so long? In the animated Netflix series Troll Hunters, he plays R. Hi. Arr! It's R. Three R's. He's also had a couple of roles in episodes of the TV series Archer, where he plays Donald Zisner. I want one of you to seduce my wife and, and tape it. it. In the Star Wars Rebels TV series, he plays the boss of the mining guild, Yashun. And then in the original animated Clone Wars TV series, he played Tarpals and Qui Gon Jinn. Control your fear. You are the chosen one, and you must be tested. In the Deadpool video game, he played Nathan Summers, better known as the man out of time, Cable. Wade, I need you to listen closely. I've time traveled from the future to bring you a dire warning about. Oh God, here he goes again. He's not here ten seconds before he starts boring us with his dire warning from the future crap. In the 2012 Tron Uprising TV series and Evolution video game, he plays Clue. We're entering Argon now, sir. Good. In Guild Wars 2, he played the Halloween visitor Mad King Thorn. I fought an Asura warrior the other day, and my shins are killing me! <laughs> In Ben 10, he played Cannonball and Way Big. Way Big? Way awesome! He's also played numerous characters in Lord of the Rings video games. Can it be? The same three lackeys who hid behind the elves at Fornost. You? You are the ones who have followed in my wake, upsetting my plans. He's voiced many characters for the God of War series, ranging from Poseidon, Ares and Atlas, to King Midas, Hades and Zeus. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? In Fallout New Vegas, he voiced the two best friends, Tabitha and Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda? Is that you? It is, Mistress Tabitha. How I've missed you so. This stranger here fixed me up right as rain. Is she a friend of yours? I... don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. If you're a fan of Adventure Time, you might have noticed Fred's voice as the mannish man in one of the episodes. Trial. Oh no! <laughs> I'm Manish Man, the Minotaur! <laughs> In Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, he voiced your Uncle Mario. It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, you pote. Far too long. And lastly, in the Naruto TV series, he's voiced numerous characters. I can ignore the Shadow Clones, they're only a distraction. So, how many of these games, movies and TV shows did you recognise the voice of Soldier 76 in? Let me know in the comments, and honestly we've barely scratched the surface on the roles that Fred has played, so are there any of your favourites that we missed? And which of Overwatch's other amazing voice actors would you like us to look at next? As always, this is James Flacurse saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.